Hurry up, the store's closing. Come on. Listen, little boy, we've got a lot of people waiting here, so get going. What do you want for Christmas, little boy? <sighs> My mind had gone blank. Frantically, I tried to remember what it was I wanted. I was blowing it, blowing it. Come on, kid. How about a nice uh, football? 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 What's a football? <laughs> Without conscious will, my voice squeaked out. Football. Okay, get him out of here. A football? Oh, no. Okay, what was I doing? Me. Wake Make up, stupid. Is. Wake up. No. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. No! Now, that time of year again, when family always approaches me with some trepidation because they know exactly what the answer will always be, so I gird myself for the inevitable, summon up my most stoic face, ready the ever-present smile and flash of somewhat medically-assisted pearly whites, and prepare to deliver the pat answer to the single most devastating, important, critical, necessary, oft-repeated, and always feared question, so, what do you want for Christmas? Invariably, the stoic face turns into a well-prepared smile, taking milliseconds for the always consistent answer that my family, and I'll wager a million more families, anticipated the same level of the childhood memory many of us have. That of some kid in class asking if you want a chocolate, you say yes, and said chocolate is always part of the veteran prank of being a laxative. And thus you become the key player in the gambling pool as to how long you can last and will last, and if it'll happen in a class during a test. Uh, but I move away. The reply is always, nothing. Family members feel the nightmarish panic of thus having to rack their brains to come up with something, anything that will be meaningful, memorable, and not be destined for the dreaded re-gifting. Invariably, they always come through. But as I age and fear becoming the guy who will one day yell those infamous words at the top of my then raspy lungs, get off my damn lawn, kids, I would really prefer being able to tell them something of import and merit and make it really stick. So it was on my way home yesterday that the perfect gift struck me. Not literally, because that would have meant a trip to a local emergency room where... Thanks to Obamacare, I would still be in the waiting room filling out forms and preparing to part with an ounce of real flesh in order to keep the insurance company happy. But what I really, really want for Christmas. Look, I don't approve of what the mayor said, and I don't approve of what a lot of other people have, have said, and the kind of uh, embrace of Al Sharpton by the mayor and by the president, I think, was a mistake, given his rhetoric, So, uh, and, and given his past rhetoric and past performances, and given his current rhetoric. So people have to be held responsible for what they say. I'm not saying anyone's responsible for what happened on this terrible thing that happened on Saturday, obviously, to Officer Ramos and Officer Lou. Wait, 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 there it is. Don't let it slip by so quickly. What I want, what we all should want for a holiday gift, Christmas, Hanukkah, Festivus, I don't really mind which one you want to assign it to. But the one gift, the only gift, we as a nation not just want, but we need. People have to be held responsible for what they say. Ah, there it is. As much as I want other things for Christmas, a lifetime case of laryngitis for Justin Bieber, a permanent mute button for Alex Jones and the rest of his whacked-out gaggle of syndicated radio and Internet blowhards who wouldn't know the facts of a story if it attached itself to their face and sucked out what little actual working brain matter is floating about their cranial black hole, and even more than the lifetime supply of a certain wonderful Boston-made lager beer, which I am convinced has medicinal purposes, more than any of this... What I want for Christmas is for every single person, from the president on down to the lowliest form of life on earth, slightly above Al Sharpton, to be held accountable for every single thing they say. This includes politicians, pundits, media hacks, though there is special dispensation for Ronan Farrow and Touré on MSNBC, as tests have proven neither has the intellectual wherewithal of lint. And even yours truly, make us accountable for everything we say. Okay. Got it? We will meet here again the first Monday in January. Let us see, then, if you are ready to accept the challenge. Let us see, then, if we as a nation can finally be held responsible for every single thing we say. You too, Al. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, joyous Hanukkah, good Festivus, whatever it may be. Because that is telling it like it is.